How's it going, guys? Well, been busy the last uh, few weeks. I've been working like six days a week. This week I actually got a break. I uh, pulled a fifth, um, pulled a 15-hour day uh, a couple days ago, and then I uh, took the following, had the following day off. Worked yesterday, got today off. So I've been running around trying to get some stuff done. Um, trucks, trucks still running great. No problems at all. Fires right up. Um, what else? What else is going on? Haven't had any snow in like three weeks, four weeks almost now. But last weekend we actually got a chance to go out in the ice. The, uh, we've had we've been in a deep freeze the past week. It got like 15, 20 degrees below zero at night, so all the lakes froze up pretty good. But then it got like 50 the other day, and today's back down to 20, so. This Sunday we're gonna uh, probably go back out to the lake. We're gonna try to get some uh, some footage of us blasting around. But well, I got a uh, got a few minutes here. Um, I actually found out that the Jag here has an exhaust leak that I never even knew about. Um, let's see if I can get the get my phone in there. Right there, you see all that that oil and stuff underneath there well I found out that found out that the uh, the exhaust gaskets uh, bottom of the exhaust gasket and the manifold blew out <laughs> yeah the bottom of the exhaust gasket blew out and the only reason I knew that was I was warming it up last weekend before I uh, before we took them out to the uh, lake and I actually have my hand down here like this and I thought I felt some air so I put it all the way underneath there and it, it actually had a uh, had a pretty good exhaust leak so and then uh, of course when it comes to two strokes I had it out in the lake I had it almost up to the top speed and it started cutting out and bogging so went to the dealer and he actually had these in stock which I was kind of surprised over Twelve bucks a piece, but this is what they are. They're like a uh, like a cardboard type gasket. Um, got two of them, both sides. But what I'm doing is I got this uh, got this liquid wrench stuff here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna soak the uh, soak the head bolts. See how rusty they are. I'm gonna soak all four of them and uh, let them sit for a while, and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, I'm gonna soak that up, let it sit for like a day or so. Tomorrow when I get out of work, I'll uh, see if I can't crack it. And what this is, uh, this is just spring loaded here. So what I'll do is I'll just slide the head pipe back. Rip uh, take off the old gasket, put the new ones on, rebolt it back up, and then she should be all set. But yeah, when it comes to two strokes, when you get exhaust leaks, the uh, it affects your uh, power a lot more than the uh, four strokes because with the uh, two strokes, uh, the uh, cylinder and uh, piston actually act, act as the uh, 